the mountains are spectacular in the winter or the summer. After a recent trip there in the snow, I had desperately wanted to go back to take on a new challenge. Hello, Harry here and welcome to Jog On. Today, we're climbing Snowdon, but we're taking arguably the hardest route up, the pig track and then Crib Goch. Crib Goch is a dangerous knife edge ridge scrambling route that is given a grade one difficulty rating and is widely considered to be the most challenging route up to the highest point in England and Wales. The night before, we decided to hike up to watch the sunset and collect our thoughts before the next day's climb. The next morning, we looked out on Penny Pass car park. Conditions looked clear and bright. Last time here, it was a lot of snow. Snow everywhere. It's fantastic. But today, as you can see, totally different. Starting here, running all the way up, the ridge itself, 921 meters at the highest point there, and all the way up, of course, to the summit of Snowdon, 1,085 meters, the highest point in England and Wales. Boots on, we were ready. Well, except one girl who was going to do it in trainers. Hostel looking very tiny back there. So that's the ridge walk that you come to in a mouth. And he was right. The ridge walk of Crib Gok was towering up in front of us. Moments later, we got talking to an older couple who were also about to climb the ridge. It's the best it's gonna be. You're here, you know. So we've said farewell to the pig track, and now we make our way up Crib Gok. Hello. Nice conditions. It's very windy up there. Little did I know how true her words would be. No sooner had she warned us than the winds began to pick up. Ooh. I had to tighten the cap because it was starting to lift off my head. If only I'd known in that moment what was to come. Whoa, the the hostel behind us now is absolutely tiny and the wind is only getting stronger. The rocky slopes only became steeper as we were battered by the high winds. Yeah, I know, it's a bit mental. The use of hands as well had become necessary to climb at this point. As long as you're enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strong work for it. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Yes, you're right. Does it hurt? We don't have to climb down anyway. No, absolutely yeah. not. It turned out we would have to. We've been hit by these strong winds again. The beautiful views down over the lake. We're making our way up along the ridge line. And we follow all the way to the summit of Snowdon. It's just so windy. I'll hold on to my cap. Oh well, I was trying at least. Our hostel is now but a tiny dot in the distance. I took a moment as the others climbed up towards me. I'm here. A passing helicopter served as a reminder that we were getting higher into the sky. So that's perfect. Right, I'll back up on that edge. Exactly. Stand up. So at this point we're most of the way up. Last little bit to sum it up towards the top of Crib Goth. Another scramble, most of it has been hands and feet. The wind's picking up. Then we've got to get flat to the rock. We climbed to the edge, and there it was, the infamous ridge of Crib Goch. Here we are on the top of Crib Goch, making our way to the beginning of the ridge. There's a child up there on a rope. With the wind lashing at our hair, we picked our way along the ridge line. Progress was slow in between shouted words of encouragement. Perfect living, just chilling on Crib Goch. Our side of the ridge meant handholds, but the other side spectacular though the views were, my friend Samir was often asking why on earth we were up there. I know man, I know. <laughs> so we're just slowly making our way down the ridge on the next section. The guys are doing really well, slowly picking their way down. We then met an enthusiastic German hiker, also on this route for the first time. I mean, it's exhilarating. <laughs> but just as Samir was describing his feelings towards the adventure, Terrified. <laughs> a sudden gust of wind ripped my cap from my head, and down over the edge. The hat has gone. <laughs> it's probably floating away down the valley right now. That has gone. It's very windy up there. <laughs> I was just worried that they're going to blow up. OK, let's get going. I offered encouragement to Samir, telling him that when he gets down, it'll be like, oh, <laughs> it's going to feel so good. Oh, my God. I'm gripping the camera very tightly. It's incredibly exposed and windy up here. The others have just climbed this section. 
I'm waiting for two of the guys to come up here. And there's been a break in the wind, so just nice and smooth. Up, 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 up we come. Tan hold there, amazing, well done. The wind is a bit of a slow off though. It's a slow descent, but this has been the most spectacular walk I've done. Possibly ever. <laughs> okay, looking back at it, it looks absolutely absurd. It's slightly easier going for a little bit, but the wind, of course, continues. When you look closely, you can see on the rocks the faint scratch marks from where people are born crampons in the winter. It's scratched at the rock. But try and imagine doing this route in the winter. That's mountaineering. That's proper stuff. Look at what we came across, that ridge line. Oh, beautiful. As a compromise to repeated requests for us to stop dicing with death from Samir, we picked our way along narrow ledges edging closer to the main path. Fantastic views of Snowdon, such a clear day, and you can see the individual dots as people traipse up to the summit. Making our way through this sort of field of scree, you've just got to be a little bit cautious. You get these sort of 20 kilogram, 30 kilogram boulders just precariously balanced in positions. And you think you don't want that coming down on top of your head. So according to the watch, we've been climbing for three hours and 51 minutes so far. This is a long hike. I think where we've lost the wind now, you can really just feel the heat. The only thing now is if we make a habit of doing this as like our adventure once or twice a year, <laughs> well, it's gonna be hard to beat this. Yeah. I can take you to the Lake District, we do some awesome stuff. You'd be like, it's not like Crib Gok, Harry. Samir's gonna forget how hard it was. He'll just be like, mate, I climbed Crib Gok. This is, this is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the wind's completely stopped, but the downside of that is it's really warm. Yeah, Little paths like this, you kind of gotta to cling to the rock as you go around. There is the faintest of path through the scree here. My only regret is that my cap blew away. <laughs> Probably featured about 50 different hairstyles in this video alone. Great work guys. We're gonna cut up and over here, side scrambling to that path. And that's it, like we're on a path then. And we just follow that to the top. <laughs> it's not actually there. It's not real. What we don't want to do is go down and start trying to get down to that path. We want to go across and join it as high as possible. It'll be easier. Oh, look at this, guys. We just join it in steps. <laughs> Needless to say, Samir was relieved. That's what climbing Snowden does to people. People were shouting earlier up the hill, and he's like, I was waiting for a buddy to roll down. <laughs> <laughs> not what I signed up for my first time. They reckon that first time and they've taken you that I way. I know, right? I've been, I've been sold down the river here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's really mean. Whose idea? We put him in the this deep end. Fella. It was a group decision. Yeah. He has a YouTube channel called Jog On, leaving loads of abuse on it. <laughs> right. And if I'm on it, British Lung Foundation. My sister's waiting for a lung transplant, everyone. Big 100. My name's Angela. Put a donation in. Help them out. Thank you. Amazing. And I'll put a link yeah, in it as well. Do. Big 100. Samir, would you like to join me in joining the main path? Well, I'm gonna let you go for a path. Oh my god. As he rejoined the path, Samir managed to take part of the wall with him. And then kills people with a boulder. Yeah. Hello. Rebuilding the path. <laughs> you just stopped the entire lung charity in their tracks with one boulder. <laughs> Angela enjoyed that one. Yeah, you let get to the summit, then you can kill people somewhere. Oh, I'm so happy to be on the wall. <laughs> Dude, honestly, it's just like this, the top now. Thank God. we still got a fair bit of walking, Samir, but we're just, we're just off all the crazy stuff. I can walk, that's not a problem. I can't hang off rocks off a cliff edge. It's revenge for dropping me on my foot and my head. We continued to ascend. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at it. That's mad. Quite the drop. That's what we came Yeah, that's for. what we came across. The summit is just there. The train station is just coming into view at the top. So there'll be like a few steps up to a little summit point and there'll be loads of people on it. So you just have to reach through and like tap your hand. But to our amazement, there was a huge queue just to stand on the summit and have your photo taken. I wasn't having any of it, so we crept around the back of the steps for a stealth summit. Slap it and go. Okay. That's how you skip the queue. Can it be quick? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Top of Snowden. Really weird doing it in the summer and actually being able to see. Last time I was up here, I couldn't see anything. It was like a whiteout. A quick phone call to relatives. Hello, Hello Paul. I'm at the summit of Snowden. Oh, it was a hell of a route. I've got some amazing videos to show you. There's the couple there. And then we spotted them. That we saw before. Well done, guys. Yeah, how how did you find it, all right? Yeah, it's not the second bit. This is the 
Oh, are you doing the horseshoe now? No, we, I, I will do one day, but yeah. I've got to get these guys back down now. I thought it was brilliant. My daughter said, you'll never do it, Mum. Oh, you've done, you've done it. Done it. Yeah. Give her a phone call, say, ha! Oh, yeah, don't you worry. <laughs> send her the video. Yeah, exactly, yeah, all the evidence. It's just a bit windy, I thought. Oh, very windy. Is it, is it always windy up here? Like it's about the windiest I've ever seen. Yeah. 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 Well done, see you again. Safe journey, bye-bye. Nice a man flying his drone. That's going to be an amazing shot. Oh, we definitely did the right thing skipping that queue, blimey. And we began our descent. <laughs> I keep having flashbacks. What the hell were we just doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you were like, I'm not going down there. We, we kind of have to. There's the thing is, you're not left with other choices. As I said last time, descend as carefully as you ascended, if not more carefully, because it's just as dangerous, if not more. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sophie fell down the mountain after this and we've never seen her again. I've never seen people queuing for the top though. Last time I was here, these were like sheets of ice. But now, much better. Running low on water, we refilled from a mountain stream and popped in a purification tablet to make sure that it would be drinkable. Gonna leave it half an hour, let the tablet dissolve. How's everyone feeling, all right? Yeah. It is tiring, isn't it? I feel like sleeping. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of this descent might feel a bit rough on the legs, the knees, the ankles, but it's a darn sight easier than doing it in thick snow. This is where it splits to miners. This way? That way. We're making our way down now to the first big lake. We'll join up finally with where the miners track flattens out. So of course I wasn't actually recording at the time, but I was just talking about the dangers of falling. And what did I do? Fell straight over. I remember as I was falling, I was thinking, don't break anything. And then I saw the bridge where we'd come to rest just months before in the snow. It also happens to be the thumbnail of the other Snowden video. So go check it out. My quads are on fire. <laughs> I decided that as we were off the main slope, I would swap from boots to running shoes. <laughs> well, it just depends on the pace we set now, but it's, it's just flat and slightly down. A helicopter appeared on the other side of the lake. I gave chase. They've just gone down over here. I've never been over this side. It seemed to just be a training mission. Just like last time. That's so bad. Time for a quick bit of skimming. The first cloud is swirling across the summit, just starting to cover the views for people who are up there. It's quite a change from having been in walking boots. I've also got to be careful and pick my way around the rocks. It's quite a nice feeling to be out of the boots. As we descend now and approach the second lake, I looked at my watch and we've just done 11 kilometers total. That's all. And it's taken us six hours, 45 minutes and 42 seconds. Imagine a city 10K and all the people coming across the line few people then coming across after an hour and then me coming across the line six hours after the start time. And then one of the stranger sights of the day, a woman hiking up with just a handbag. I was slightly baffled. All right, let's get an ever so slight jog on this next path. Excuse the pun. You can't come to Snowden not to do this little tiny bit of running, just a tiny little bit. It's an old mining building. The last time I was here, there was a big group of school kids. Holy moly. And we had to walk in between them. Yeah. I've never seen this building. I remember a snowball just sailing past my ear. And I had to calmly walk through and hope that the snowball was about to smash me in the face. You all right, how are you doing? Pretty good yourself? Pretty good. The white chocolate came out and it was heavenly. <laughs> Spirits were high and we were so close to the end. When we get around this corner down here, we'll be able to see it. I hope. I can see the hostel. That is such a glorious sight. Look how close the car park is to me. We're approaching the gate. Seven hours, 42 minutes and 20 seconds. That's a long time. Seven hours, 42 and 30. Well done, well done. 
Well done, man. Good work. Yeah, no, listen, right. that was a great life changing experience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Inspecting rock dust on my shoes, we bid each other farewell. Thanks for looking after us. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Safe trip, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm pretty shattered, so I'll keep it short and sweet. Thanks very much for coming on this adventure with me. It's been absolutely fantastic. Hell of a walk and brilliant to summit Snowden for a fourth time. Crib Goch is serious, it's hard, it's challenging, but it's incredibly exhilarating. And it was a joy to get up there with four of my friends. If you're new to Jog On, welcome. Hit subscribe for more videos. And remember, the Jog On is also a podcast. So search for us in Apple Podcasts and all other podcast platforms. I'm Harry. Explore the mountains. Go for that run. And this is Jog On. Hello, Harry here from the snowy Snopes. What? Hello, Harry here from the snowy. I nearly went over. There's no snope snowier than these. I'm gonna try it again. Hello, Harry here from the snowy slopes. Shush! I'm talking. You shush. Take four. Hello, Harry here, and welcome to the snowy slopes. I reckon I can do this. A fantastic can do. Okay, you do. Hello, I'm Harry here, and welcome to the snowiest slopes you ever did see. Hello, Harry here from the snowy slopes of Snowdon in Snowdonia.